Hey guys, it's time for a brew. <sighs> that is really good. English breakfast, because it's awesome. So I'm really finding out that this game, Happy Wheels, on TotalJerk.com, uh, TotalJerkFace.com, my bad, uh, is so addicting. Ugh. Some of them are really frustrating because the people who created these some of these levels are like really glitchy to where like there's no way you could play the game because like sometimes it starts your character most characters have a thing like a vehicle or a uh, device that they use to move around like a guy there's a lawnmower there's a handy there's a uh, wheelchair with a jetpack a uh, pogo stick a uh, tandem bike whatever and some and a lot of times if you pick that character but they don't they don't use that uh, apparatus whatever they have uh, they're just themselves and they'll put they, they'll put you in like a thing like a like enough walls just for your character to stand in and then may, maybe you'll just fling your arms around you know really strangely and it, it's it's just so addicting that way because you'll play and play even though you keep losing you'll keep playing and but yeah so it's like sometimes you're just your guy's stuck because his arms are stuck down and you're just like eh. you just cannot get their arms out so whatever uh that's how they created it glitchy people don't like it they're starting to have like levels where it's super super easy literally you just need to fall over and you win or something crazy like that and it's because they're like well see at least my game my game may be easy st stupid easy but at least you can play it. Uh, so the, today has been pretty good. Um, another another good day. Uh, I got a lot of stuff done, which is really cool, uh, making me feel good about the end of the week. Hopefully, all caught up because I hate to have stuff to do uh, going into the weekend because I will just think about that because I know it's coming back. It's coming back. I'm gonna have to deal with it come Monday. So getting stuff done, so many new systems, which is really cool. I mean, I'm definitely happy about that. Um, getting getting all these people out of their 10-year-old systems. Uh, and people just use them until they die. It's just the it's just the nature of the beast, I guess. Um, but today, I, I do want to do want to share this with you because this is so funny. I, I uh, shared it on my Facebook page, but I just I just had to read it to you. So I'm having fruit salad for dinner. Uh, well, it's mostly grapes, actually. Um, okay, all grapes, uh, but fermented grapes. I'm having wine for dinner, okay? You know, <laughs> fruit salad, anyone? It, it is just so funny. I mean, I do, I like wine, and I don't drink a whole lot of wine on here, which maybe at some point I will do that, or maybe get closer to um, uh, winter. Maybe I'll start doing that more, uh, As which is funny because, okay, well, it's like summer, going into fall, and what do I do? I drink hot tea. What do I talk about? Oh, hey guys, you know, when it gets closer to winter, I'll drink cold wine. That makes no sense. It makes no sense. But it makes no sense to drink hot coffee on a 90 degree day. But do I do it? You're darn right, because I love my coffee. Um, but because of this time of year, it is getting, like I said, uh, about my bike riding uh, adventures, it gets very buggy, very buggy, and a, at least not right now, yeah, I'm not hearing it right now, the bugs are so loud, like, I don't know if it's uh, cicadas, um, or, I guess cicadas would be the correct term, a uh, correct bug, correct bug to identify there, uh, making that, like, like, just that noise constantly, and very loud tonight. Um, they might have quieted down, maybe they're having supper, maybe having a lie down, I have no idea. Um, but one thing that will not be quite so noisy will be the neighborhood as all the kids are going back to school. Uh, I don't have to have uh, all these kids riding around on their bikes, hopefully not getting hit. Um, I've heard a few uh, kids around here getting uh, clipped or getting really close calls, uh, getting hit by vehicles around here. Uh, I know Dad came across one the other day. Uh, some old lady uh, clipped a kid's bike and he fell off and such because the kid rode right out in front of her and didn't even look. 
Um, I know when I was kid, when I was a kid, we looked both right, left, and right again, or maybe if you started with left, right, and then left again, whatever. Uh, I know that's what we were taught. But yeah, so he came across that and didn't wasn't like all bloodied up or anything. It's just his knee hurt or something. So I'm sure the kid took some injuries in some way. Um, but I'm hearing about that, and, and it, is, it is sad. I mean, I'm not a big kid fan, but I definitely don't want to see anybody get hurt either. Uh, you know, that's that's just sad. And uh, obviously, there's a road nearby that is like it's supposed to be 25 miles an hour, but nobody goes 25 miles an hour down this road. They go 30, 35, 40, and they just don't care. And I just don't get it. You know, I don't understand why you can't follow the rules. You know, and going 25 is not that big a deal. You have nowhere to be that fast. And if you do, reevaluate your life. You know, that's, I am almost never in a hurry. If there's no one out on a major road, like a 55 area, I'll go 45, 50 sometimes, just because I don't care. I don't have anywhere to be that quickly. And I might be going early or whatever. I just don't care. Now, if I see somebody, yeah, I get back up to speed, you know, maybe a little faster, you know, just to keep up, you know, keep up with traffic. I don't want to cause any issues, but and there's sometimes I'm I'm like just singing or just chilling, looking at the scenery, and it's like 50 miles an hour. Who cares? Um, but the one final thing I wanted to note, because there really isn't a whole lot going on right now, uh, but I, one thing I wanted to note, I found out about Diablo 3 expansion. Yes. Um, hello. <laughs> Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Ah, oh, the cinematics and stuff. So good. And um, and if any of you that were not a fan of Diablo 3, I completely understand, believe me. I haven't played it in a while. I'd say it's been a few weeks to a month or so um, that I haven't played. Because Diablo 3 isn't that great. It doesn't have that uh, difficulty level, if you want to say. Uh, I remember playing Diablo 1, and if you got to Diablo, you were like... All across the number keys, trying to keep up with your... Um, with your health potions because it was so difficult and Diablo 2 was kind of the same I mean you were you were punching potions but seeing Diablo 3 though you hit Q I think it is and you have like a 15 30 second cooldown before you can use another potion it's like are you freaking serious and but because of this I don't feel like the monsters that hard like you have maybe that much time to kind of get away maybe cause some ruckus, whatever, to, to get that monster away from you long enough, get it some knockback effects. So I understand that nobody, that there's not that ton, a ton of people out there that are like, yeah, Diablo 3 is awesome, yeah, it's totally worth it. I understand if it's not for you. That's completely understandable. Uh, I get bored. Um, I almost fell asleep one day playing because I was in the beginning stages, and and I was just playing, and it was just like, eh. Yeah, yeah, they're dead. I, they're dead. They're dead. I'm almost dead. Oh, never mind. No, I'm not. That's right, because it's not that hard. I, I've done that. I've totally done that. And <laughs> it, it's it, it's sad that one should be that way. But um, they are bringing out a new race as of right now. I don't know where they're at stage-wise of this expansion, but they brought on a new race called the Crusader. Uh, I'm assuming because we never got a warrior. Um, we have things that replace, like, the Paladin and the Assassin and... Uh, the druid and things like that, and the necromancer. We we replaced all those with people, and then the barbarian, of course, came back, and the witch, and you know things like that. But we never actually got a warrior. We've had a warrior every um, instance for the most part uh, for Diablo One and Diablo Two, uh, but three has never gotten one. So I think that's why Crusader's coming out. But he seems like a pretty awesome character. It does have a lot more magic than I was expecting. Um, there is some throwing the shield and stuff um, uh, skills. So I'm pretty sure that's going to be helpful um but anyways i just i mean it's not a short it's not short it's not short you know guys come on i just it's not gonna be a short vlog but i hope that you are having a fantastic week um i know you don't want to hear it but we're over the hump we've got two more days and or one more day and then tgif however you want to look at it and but two more days until the weekend hopefully it goes quickly, and we can get to the weekend and have fun. I can watch cartoons Saturday morning because I'm still a kid. and <laughs> um, So, yeah, hopefully you had a great day, and I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow. Later.